Hi, this is Blake from Pumpkin's Pool. I just want to do a quick demo of the identity transition from one validator to another. And to start this off, I'm going to show you uh, the output of Ketchup, um, which is actually uh, Solana Ketchup, our local host, but I have an alias. So we can see that on top, that is the primary validator that's actually voting. Um, it's actively voting. The one on the bottom is the hot spare. Um, I think you can see. Oh, it's, it doesn't capture for some reason. You can see that it's not actually. Uh, wow, there's a lot of forking going on. Uh, unable to vote. Yeah, I guess that's what I wanted. So this, this actually isn't, it's attempting to vote, but it's actually not. Um, not that there's any soul in the account. So this is just the backup. This is the hot spare. Um, it's just hanging out, waiting to be transitioned to. Um, so obviously, there's a couple elements of this that are important. Uh, the identity.json symlink. As you can see on this one, uh, the pub key of identity.json is a link to staked identity. So obviously, these will be the same. And that is what is in the validator startup script right here. So the current identity is a, a sim link that currently points to the staked identity, which is an authorized voter, but it doesn't have to be. Um, it just it just so happens that it is. So in this case, the identity is my main identity. I do have an unstaked identity, which we will transition to. Um, shortly in this demo of whatever the heck public key that is. There's no uh, soul in that account. That's just the hot spare identity. So if we look at the hot spare for comparison, you can see this one points to the unstaked identity, which we want obviously because it's not actively voting. So identity is the junk one. Um, we can see that that matches, obviously, because of the sim link above, the junk one. But we do have the staked identity uh, sitting here waiting to transition, um, which we'll do shortly. So, okay, so how does all this work? Um, hopefully all that makes sense. So basically what we need to do to transition, now I'm going to transition to mainnet 2, which is my hot spare. So there's a couple things that happen. Uh, first, you wait for a restart window, um, skipping the new sn snapshot checks to make sure you don't miss any, uh, well, you skip this because it doesn't matter, but the only reason you do this is so you, you don't miss any leader slots. Um, and then once this, once you have a restart window, the first thing that happens is the identity is set. Uh, this is the set identity command with your ledger to the unstaked identity. So immediately the first thing we do, we have no upcoming leader slots for two minutes. We transition to the unstaked identity, which is this garbage one. So um, at this time, once we do this, uh, pumpkins, the primary staked identity will not be on any validator for the time being. Um, right after that, when the set identity is executed, we write the sim link we symlink the identity to the unstaked identity. This is because uh, if the validator should restart for any reason, it should crash, or if we accidentally restart it ourselves, if we upgrade it, we wanna make sure that we don't go back to the staked identity, because um, that would cause a duplicate instance uh, error, because they would both have the staked identity. I think both of them would restart, so that's, that's no good. So you wanna make sure that you rewrite the symlink anytime you're doing a transition to uh, I guess the appropriate identity because we'll, we'll look at this file in the other node. The very last portion of this is uh, extremely important. To avoid violating uh, lockout, you need to copy SCP the tower uh, from your voting validator to your other hot spare um, into the ledger directory, wherever that is. So, um, and this, depending on your authentication, this may involve a SSH key. Um, it may involve an SSH key and a password, which is in my case, I use both uh, for maximum security. Um, 
but yeah, th this will need to be copied over. This is a command that you can find. Um, I will supply in the documentation. Uh, it's pretty static. It just uses your uh, Solana keygen pub key for your staked identity and then this path uh, to get to, I can show you, mount ledger. And that's just this tower file right here. So we're just gonna SCP that over to the other validator. So that's all that happens during the transition on the active, actively voting validator side. Now, of course, once this is done executing, and this is a very small shell script that will run, we have no active validator. So problem. Uh, on this side, what we need to do, I have a similar script and I'm sure that someone who has more time and ability to test this and make it better can make this one script. I actually did want to do that for the longest time, but due to having a pub key and a password, it's kind of a pain in the butt. And this doesn't really, this isn't very hard. So I've stuck with this, but I'm sure that someone can improve this process uh, with Ansible or just a better shell script. Honestly, um, I have on mainnet two, which is my hot spare. I have a script named the same thing. Um, so it's not, hard to figure out where I'm transitioning. Um, however, the contents are different. So on mainnet two, uh, this is number one, this will happen first. Uh, then on mainnet two, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run set identity to the staked identity, which makes sense because we changed this one to the unstaked identity. So my main identity isn't associated with any validator at this time. So we did copy over the towers and I'm gonna put require tower to make sure that we get that and I'm gonna set the identity to the staked identity. And then all we have to do is rewrite the sim link to the staked identity. So that's it. Um, it's really only six commands. Uh, four take place on the active validator and two take place on the non-voting validator. So let's go ahead and run this and do our transition. So I wanna to transition to mainnet two. Go ahead and set that. Put in the password to copy over the tower. And that's it. <laughs> There's really not much to it. So uh, to prove that worked, let's run catch up. Now this used to be the primary validator and what we can see now that it's just a temporary identity. And down below, let's do catch up. And we can see now that the hot spare has assumed the primary identity of the validator. Now, how do you, how do you get back might be a question. It's literally just the same thing in reverse. Um, so if you, I have, as you may have noticed two scripts. So if I wanted to, I could just go back using the exact same commands in reverse. So that's about it. That's, that's, <laughs> it's a pretty easy process. Um, it may, it might look complex at first, but once you get it down, uh, it's pretty foolproof. So I hope that helps. Uh, if anyone has any questions about this process, feel free to ask if you see any improvements in something that I've missed that an improvement that can be made, please let me know and, uh, have a great day. Thanks.